Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something massive, literally. Over the last few days, I've been working on a huge modification to one of LEGO's most impressive sets, the Technic Leaper LR13000 Crawler Crane. Now this set is already a beast, but I wanted to push it even further, so I've extended the boom and made a number of adjustments to get this crane standing at an impressive 9 feet tall. Yes, you heard that right. 9 feet. That's taller than every human person. And almost unbelievable for a Lego creation. But getting this crane to that height came with its own set of challenges. I had to think carefully about balance, stability, and how to ensure it could still function as a crane even with the massive boom extension. In today's video, I'll be walking you through all of the modifications I made and showing you just how much work went into making this crane as tall and functional as it is. We'll dive into how I planned the modification, source extra parts, adjusted the counterweight system with a clever container of rocks, and finally put the crane through its paces with some real world testing. So stick around because this project is about to get epic. Before I get to the modifications, let's talk a bit about original LEGO Technic Leaper LR13000 set. It's one of the most advanced LEGO Technic sets out there, with inc an incredible level of detail and functionality. LEGO designed this set to mimic the real-world Technic crane, which is used in heavy construction to lift huge loads. The LEGO version has working pulleys, a functioning boom, and a sturdy crawler base that allows the crane to move just like its real counterpart. But while the set is already impressive in its stock form, I knew I could take it a step further. The stock set's boom is already quite tall, but I wanted to see how far I could push the design. Could I double it, tight, triple it? In the end, my goal became clear. I wanted to make the crane as tall as possible while keeping it stable and fully functional. And that's where the real challenge began. The first and most obvious challenge I faced was extending the boom. The original boom is made out of te several Technic pieces that are designed to work perfectly together. However, the set doesn't include enough parts to extend it to 9 feet. So my first step was sourcing additional boom pieces from BrickLink. If you're unfamiliar with BrickLink, it's basically a LEGO enthusiast stream. It's a marketplace where you can buy individual LEGO pieces. I was able to find exactly what I needed to build the boom to my desired length. But sourcing the part was just the beginning. When you extend the boom to this much, you add a lot of weight and stress to the structure. I had to be very careful about how I connected new sections to ensure that the boom wouldn't collapse or sag under its own weight. I used a combination of Technic beams and cross braces to reinforce the boom, making it strong but not too heavy. It was important to strike that balance. If the boom was too heavy, the crane wouldn't be able to lift it. Let's take a quick step back and look at how real cranes handle these kinds of challenges. Real world crawler cranes, like the Leaper LR13000, are marvels of engineering. They are used on major construction sites to lift heavy loads, sometimes weighing thousands of tons, while maintaining stability and precision. One of those key principles behind their designs and weight distribution. As the boom gets longer and heavier, the crane needs a strong counterweight system to keep it from tipping over. For my build, I had to apply the same principles. The taller the boom, the more stress I was putting on the base of the crane. In real life, engineers would calculate exactly how much counterweight is needed for the balance of the load, and they'd position the weights at just the right points. 
for my Lego version, I didn't have those exact calculations, but I knew I would need to add a lot of extra weight in the back of the crane to help balance out the massive boom. Without proper counterweights, the crane would easily tip forward or lose its balance during operation. So how did I handle the counterweight issues? Well, the original set comes with a small counterweight system, but that wasn't even close to enough for the 9 foot boom. To fix that, I decided to extend the back of the crane, which gave me more space to add extra weight. But I didn't stop there. I wanted to make sure that the counterweight was as heavy as possible without causing structural damage to the crane. I had a pretty straightforward solution for this. I added a container of rocks. That's right, I filled a container with rocks and placed it at the back of the crane. Why rocks, you ask? They're dense, easy to come by, and you can pick up a lot of weight in a small space. By adding the container, I dramatically increased the weight of the counterweight, which helped the crane to stable even when the boom was fully extended. But just adding weight isn't enough. I had to make sure that the entire structure would be able to handle the extra mass. So I spent some time reinforcing the back of the crane using additional Technic beams to support these containers of, ri of rocks. This not only helped with the balance, but also ensured the crane wouldn't collapse under the additional stress. The result? A perfectly balanced system that can lift a massive boom without tipping over. It's pretty amazing how something as simple as rocks can make a huge difference in a project like this. Now, let's talk about some of the challenges I faced during this modification. When you're dealing with a large structure, even a small change can make a huge impact on how the entire system works. For example, once I extended the boom, I noticed the ropes in the pulley systems were too short. The stock ropes just couldn't handle the increased height, so I had to find longer ropes that could reach the new length of the boom. Another challenge was maintaining tension in the ropes. With a longer boom, there's more distance for the ropes to travel. And if they're not properly tensioned, they can get tangled or slack, which would cause the whole crane to malfunction. I spent a lot of time adjusting the pulleys and ropes, making sure everything was aligned perfectly and moved smoothly. After several rounds of testing, I finally got this system working the way it should allowing the boom to extend and retract without any issues. As I mentioned earlier, one of the key challenges was upgrading the pulley system to accommodate the new boom height. The original LEGO ropes just simply weren't long enough, so I had to replace them with longer, stronger ropes. These ropes had to be durable enough to handle the extra tension from the extended boom, but still flexible enough to move smoothly through the pulley. I spent a good time threading the new ropes through each pulley, making sure they didn't get twisted or tangled. Once everything was in place, I adjusted the tension on the rope to ensure they moved smoothly and didn't snag or cause any issues during operation. It was a bit of a tedious process, but the results were definitely worth it. With the new ropes in place, the crane could lift and lower the boom with ease and maintained a fully functional even with the additional height. With all of the modifications complete, it was time for the moment of truth, testing the crane stability. I started by adding the boom to its 9 feet to see how the counterweight system would work. I was a little nervous at first, after all this was a huge modification and I wasn't entirely sure how the crane would handle the extra height. But as I extended the boom, I could see that the counterweight system was working perfectly. The crane remained stable, and there was no sign of tipping or instability. Next, I tested the crane's ability to lift and move objects. I used a few small weights to simulate real loads and watched the crane lift them with ease. The pulley system works perfectly smoothly, and the boom remained steady even when lifting the weights. I was really impressed with how well everything came together. This was a 9 foot tall crane that could actually function just like the original set despite all the modifications I've made. So there you had it. 
my modified Lego Technic Leaper LR13000 crawler crane, now standing at an incredible 9 feet tall. This project was a lot of fun to work on, and it was a great challenge to push the limits of what's possible with Lego Technic. From sourcing the extra parts and adding a container of rocks as a counterweight, every step of the process taught me a lot.